A lot of people know Cleveland as a neighborly, hospitable city, but there's a lot of Monday morning quarterbacking in Cleveland and elsewhere now over the latest case of violence connected to pro football. Only in this case, it wasn't the players. As CBS's Jim Axelrod reports, it was the fans in the stands. It's long been known as the Dog Pound, home of the Cleveland Browns and their barking, growling fans. 15 to 10, the final score. But yesterday, the Dog Pound turned positively rabid. These Cleveland fans are irate. Late in the game, the Browns were behind but driving. This fourth down pass was first ruled complete. The refs let the game continue before reviewing it then reverse themselves. After review, the pass is incomplete. The fans were living. So it's an ugly scene here in Cleveland. The fans started throwing the plastic beer bottles they'd spent the afternoon emptying and just about everything else. A fellow right in front of us, Gus, got hit in the head with what look, looked like a radio and just split his head wide open. As for those in charge, Brown's management seemed more intent on justifying than criticizing. I think people's hearts have been ripped out from them. If I'm not going to criticize the officials in this situation, I'm certainly not going to criticize the people of Cleveland and our fans. Maybe the Browns president was simply caught up in the emotion, but hearts ripped out? In the post-September 11th world, it seemed to strike more than a few people as a poor choice of words, to say the least. That's where hearts were ripped out in this country, not at a football game. But Cleveland Plain Dealer columnist Bill Livingston does think the game may provide a gauge of sorts on the mood outside New York three months later. Everyone was more kind and considerate and loving for the first month or two. But obviously, the expiration date on that ended. Hard to believe, perhaps, but in a strange way, this may just be a sign of getting back to normal. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, New York.